POC each and every morning, man. We go live at 7 a.m. and we want y'all to join in on the conversation. 215-853-6803. Once again, that number is 215-853-6803. Give us a call, man. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your opinions and your perspectives. Give us a call. Yep, yep, you already know what time it is, man. It's Meet Your Girl POC. You gotta get up anyway. So why not get up with Meet Your Girl POC each and every morning, starting at 7 a.m., getting this good morning mix. Revive's alive, revive's alive, revive is alive.com. You are listening to Revive Radio. The views and opinions expressed on Revive Radio does not necessarily reflect ownership, management, and advertisers of Revive Radio. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You already know what time it is. Reviveisalive.com. Once again, reviveisalive.com. Tune in. Revive is alive. Welcome to Revive. It's about that time. Welcome to Revive. It's about that time. You know what time it is Open up your ears You know what time it is Open up your mind It's about that time It's your girl POC hey! It's your girl POC hey! Proof of consciousness Proof of consciousness POC. You know what time it is Open up your ears Now Let's go, be ready. DJ, be ready. You gotta get up anyway. Let's get him up. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, 
okay. Don't you know I do it so well? Uh -huh. Dollar signs all on my head. Yeah. Rolling solo, dolo, this is true. Hey, almost forgot what I was doing. Almost forgot what I was doing. I was driving it up. Shout out to the new music, man. Each and every Tuesday, each and every Thursday, catch the assassins live here on Revive Radio, man. You never know what you may hear. They always popping out with something new. Hey, I hear you, DJ D. Ready. Let's go. I can't even lie. I ain't even flex. Block for me, black man. No, they trying to stretch. I ain't trying to preach. I ain't trying to lash. When you make your first million cash, you gonna feel the pressure. Just wanna feel a threat. Drop top braids, wanna feel success, wanna chase a guy, never chase a message, never stop grinding, cherish no recessions, we ain't get accepted, we just reinvest, thanks what I expected, we ain't get accepted, since you get the mag, choppers for detectives, FBI investors, Hey. He said you gonna learn your culture today, yeah, baby. Time, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make you call me Zaddy. Come hey. over to the floor. Give you rounds. Round. Make you a so. Drop it, make you wobble. Girl, I love it when you pop it. Like Gobble, yeah. need yeah. to yeah. bubble. Get the oh, man, this is oh, good. Make right you feel good. Would you not knock the wood tonight? Tonight. Yeah, yeah. So careful what you wish for. Yeah. Now, last month, these bastards are cast. Little dirty, nappy headed, East Atlantic. Father said it, I was the force. 44, Hank, Aaron, Chrome, wanna make it home, then get out the porch. Let it cover faded for it, had to fade it, had to fade it for it. It's tomato or tomato, either way, the boy, the greatest player, I won't say it no more. I was just fed up. I was just down, 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 tighten the fuck up. But I'm here for the crown, board of best crown, board of best crown. I was board of education, left the town, fuck a resume, and fuck yeah. me down. The background, check background, when I get the check, that's now. I was just up. I was just down, down, bad. Hey. I had to tighten the up, but I'm here for the crown, crown. Uh. Uh -huh. I was just up. I was just down, down, bad. Yo, I had hey, to tighten the up, but I'm here for the crown, 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 crown. Fire. Uh, I was a down, down bad. Pick up the pad, pick up the slack. Pick it a litter, don't litter no bag. My seat been picking up racks. Raps them in clear, the act of you too. And I'm back in the booth, got them hacking the shackers. They lacking the juice, dropping the ball, they on shacking the fool. Activist drew down the side of your face, we ain't jacking it. We ain't dabbing them fools, get a nappy, you do just embarrassing. Who going crazy like us, no comparison? Driven like Mary and Jones on the steroids. Y'all had a year, y'all had a year, y'all had a year, but you let it go by. I was just down, down bad. I had to tighten the up, but I'm here for the crown, 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 crown. I was just up. I was just down, 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 down. Tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, 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 crown. Dreamville, head how to be came from nothing, just like the Big Bang Theory. The poverty stain kept the pain buried and covered the shame with a dream. We would have fortune and fame. A million in the bank, a million paint turned cranberry. Now little Jermaine got the same stories. That boy had a saint, bitch, the same marriage. Go all hell, King Cole, first of his name. Long may rain. The boy got the throne, but you know it in a game. Good guy was born in the same. Pressure cooker, that's the known to bust up a cone and make a diamond. Two sick, me and roll the ring. One thing for sure, we gon' get y'all asses up each and every Tuesday, each and every Thursday. 
even breathing speed. We got the assassins in the building. Okay. We're chasing their dreams. We got a couple of CEOs in the building. I was hoping they die. I was hoping they die. I can't wait today. I was hoping they die. I can't wait today. Like I'm mad, it's gone. Uh, she like I smell cologne. Yeah, I just had a deal. I'm on. Yeah, yeah. 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 I go where I want, good, good. Play if you want, the store. Huh. I'm a young CEO, Yo. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The first play on my body in them. Uh, I just check my balance, I probably pull up to your hood and come buy me a new. No cap. You know that your told you that crazy. Don't think that she lied to you, new. Get caught with your when I'm popping them both. Now they hot just like Bobby and Whitney. Ha. Say I'm the GOAT, act like I don't know. But fuck it, I'm obviously winning. Don't make me go hit the bank. And take out a hundred to show you our pockets is different. Uh, I'm out with your bitch and I only want knowledge. She got a little mileage, I'm chilling. Uh, uh, you disrespect me and I beat you up all in front of your partners and children. I'm the type that let them think that I'm broke until I pop out with a million. And take 20K and put that on your head and make one of your partners come kill you. Yeah. Say if you with me, then he gotta grow up. Cause this nigga gotta be kidding. This dick can't fit in my pocket. I got it. Like I hit the lottery. I'm slapping shit out. No talking, I don't like to argue. I don't. Ain't gonna be Shout no more laughing. You see radio. me whip out, cause I'm gonna be the shot mirror. Shout no cap. I don't follow no Don't lie to you, but all your bitches yeah. follow in the building. And that lady ain't gonna shoot shit with that gun. He just pull it out in his pitch. What's pitch. up? Ha. 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 Pack in the mail, it's gone. Uh. She like I smell. I hear you, DJ D. Ready. Let's go. Talk your shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I go where I want. Good, good. Play if you want. Let's do it. Ha. I'm a young CEO. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. yeah. Ha. Pack in the mail, it's gone. Uh. She like I smell cologne. Yeah. I just had a deal, I'm on. Yeah, yeah. I go where I want. Good, now, good. Play if you want. Let's do it. Ha. I'm a young CEO. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking about that, I'm a pop. Got like 32,000 in one of my pockets. The other one, that's where the Glock is. Glock. You look there, wanna be in there, that against me. Tell all these little niggas, stop it. I be the Burmian. In front of the store with your mammy and grandma, I'm a shop. I'll die on the whole nother wave on it. Let's see one of these little niggas, top it. I'll be turning. Took a burden, push me a little niggas, top it. Her book is behaving, hey, calling the groupie just cause she like I'm amused. She just sent me a text. Now, last time I'm not a fan of you. Let you be. Chitty ching ching, could buy anything, cop that. Back Thursday, take them back a little bit, you know. Let's go. I'll drink this straight to my level. Watch this snow tick. Yeah, I'm the game rap. X Miss Smoke shots. I deliver faded Vegas. Might sponsor the killer. Shake it, break it. For the winner, drop it. Copy. Eyes locked on you in the object. Rock it. Blast, blast. New beginnings. Lovely. Pinky. How not? Remember fiend Boom. Gimme, gimme, gimme some Prick the freckles off your face Put you freaking swapping tongue Click my link and spread your buns Lose your dinner, don't make it numb Baby, no so dumb Icky, 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 icky Then the car service Thank you for the car pull Chromosome thoughtful Probably off a n- When gas, not the arc go Poppin' the end Throw you shopping from the window Play my favorite tempo Oh, oh, oh Let you be Chitty ching ching, could buy anything, got that bow, 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 got the greens, play the breeze, don't make it out of me, drop Baby, welcome to the party, I'm off the m****s in the hoodie, that's why I'm over it Yo, that is oh, hot, whoa, took a video Baby, welcome to the party, uh, took a I hit the boys out, then I go skate around hey, Baby, hey, welcome to the party, woo, what the, get me, get me lit, gun hey. on my head, one in the head Jeans. I'm in my hand and he's perfect. Huh? 
Don't try and run up on my feet. I knock a dot of sleep. While I'm selling down his feet. Huh? Double J for the team. No, at least I got keys. Don't get your car switched. He's there, the cooler, 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 he's there, the cooler. Made this here with all the ice on in the booth At the gate outside, when they pull up, they get me loose Yeah, jump out, boys, that's Nike boys hopping our coast Way too big, when we pull up, give me the loot Was off the Remy, had up at post Had to hit my old town to duck the news Two-four-hour lockdown, we made no moves Now it's 4 a.m. and I'm back up popping with the crew I just landed in, Chase B mixes pop like, pop like Joe's Different color chains, think my jeweler really selling fruits And they joking, man, know the crackers some, wish it was a no So I said Surrender retreat, we all in too deep Play, play, play for keeps, don't play us a week So I said Surrender retreat, we all in too deep Play, play, play for keeps, don't play us a week, week, week Way too formal, y'all know I don't follow suit Stacy Dash, most of these girls ain't got a clue All of these hoes, I made off records I produce I might take all my exes and put them all in a group Group. Hit my essays, I need the booch About to turn this function into Bonnaroo Told her I been, you coming too In the 305, treat me like I'm Uncle Luke Slot the top off, it's just a roof, uh she said, where we going? I set the moon We ain't even make it to the room She thought it was the ocean, it's just a boat Now I got her open, it's just a ghost You now rocking with this ass I'm the glue So I said Shorty face, Tommy out the blue Blue, 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 blue Peace, this is Dion, man, the CEO of Gradtex. You can find us online at www.gradtex.com. Find us on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, at Gradtex, G-A-R-D-T-E-C-H-S, Gradtex. Um, you now listen to Revive Radio. If you ain't listening to Revive, what you listening to? You are listening to Revive Radio. The views and opinions expressed on Revive Radio does not necessarily reflect ownership, management, and advertisers of Revive Radio. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You already know what time it is. Reviveisalive.com. Once again, Reviveisalive.com. Tune in. Revive is alive. Welcome to Revive It's about that time Welcome to Revive It's about that time All I need is my You know what time it is Open up your ears You know what time it is Open up your mind It's about that time It's your girl POC hey! It's your girl POC hey! Yep, yep, to the yep, yep. You already know what time it is, man. It's me, your girl, POC, host of Revive Radio. We are back live on Revive is Alive, Revive is Alive, Revive is Alive.com. Each and every morning, you got to get up anyway, so why not get up with me, your girl, POC, man. Make sure you guys tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to that YouTube channel as well as that newsletter so you can stay locked with everything we got going on. Don't forget to join in on the conversation, man. 215-853-6803. Once again, that number is 215-853-6803. Today is Thursday, so you already know I got the assassins in the building. Yeah, yeah, let's What's get it. What's good, guys, know. man? How y'all feeling? I ain't seen y'all since last week. How was y'all weekend? How was y'all week so far? The week's almost over. Yeah. How y'all feeling? I'm good, man. The week was hot. Extra hot. Yeah, man. But it, every night, I feel like it cooled down with some rain. Like, rain came out of nowhere. Yeah, it poured last night. But they said out of nowhere, Saturday though. it's going to be crazy. Like, like rain? No, heat. Oh, heat. <laughs> oh, well, I ain't ready for that. Like 98 or something. Something hot. I'm I ain't ready for that one. Nah. Yeah. So what y'all, what y'all been up to? What y'all do this weekend? Just well, me. Alex, you had fun this weekend. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you don't even remember what oh, you yeah, did. Oh, yeah. D was dead, too. Oh, we God. went to the... Oh, um, I about to say you don't even remember what you did. We went to the... Uh, oh, the All Us Block Party? Yeah, All Us Block Party. Yeah, that was dope. How was that? Was that? Dope. that? That was popping, 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 popping. popping. Real dope. It was man, like, y'all got to tell more people like about 12. stuff like that. Yo, y'all ain't post that. You should be already in the loop. No, I was doing other stuff. taste No, man. I don't do stuff for fun. Okay, okay. <laughs> that would have been something I wanted to just nah, chill, was, not yeah, work. Nah, not it do was any definitely of that a vibe. Stuff. We got you next time. Drinks. Oh, you had to pay for God. Food. So yeah. I would have been walking around with VIP. Yeah. Now, if I was with y'all two, I would have been very hey, important. Hey, everybody person. was VIP. <laughs> 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 All right, man. I appreciate you guys coming through. Talk a little bit about this music because I was getting some text messages. You played the new Crip, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, what inspired y'all mix this morning? Because y'all had a lot of new plays, a lot of new spins this morning. Uh, yeah, the new Big Crit. I was just checking out. I've actually been bumping that all between like yesterday and today. So, you know, I wanted to definitely spin that record, get some newness on. You know, I ain't. How was the album? What, what is it? Should everybody go get it now? Everybody I think everybody should go it? listen to it for sure. I definitely, okay. I think it's one of his better albums. I'm not like the biggest Crip fan all the way around, but I definitely always rocked with him. What so. kind of artist is he? I mean, he's from the South, you know, he's a rap artist, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, he got real, he's a soulful dude too, you know, he got his little singing, you know, I feel like he's been doing that even before, like, a Drake or around the same time too. So, so he's talking about everything? Yeah, man, you gotta, you gotta get up on him. I think, I think right. it's somebody that you probably like, you probably like him more than you wouldn't like him, you know what I'm saying? Well, I so, like the song that you played, yeah, I was bobbing yeah, to Yeah, he one. definitely gotta, like, like I said, I'm not up on his all his catalog but he definitely got good joints and he always had quality music you know what i'm saying so, so i would say so the new crib that's what we need to go yeah get. big crib definitely check that the out new big crib. definitely got the sauce what was the name of the song that you played for us uh what was the name of that song that was uh i think it's called i'm here i'm here yeah. all right man go get that new crib and alex what kind of new music you crit here crit here crit here um, yeah all right he I tried played. to put his name in it <laughs> that's what it's called <laughs> yeah i played that pop smoke world from new york what was uh, that about I don't know. It's just I think it's just a turn up joint, man. Okay. Uh, I watched the video and it's like they lit in New York when that song come on. Uh, it's called "Welcome to the Party." All right. Um, that joint turned up. You bro. think New York rappers still got it? You think New York rappers still? They, they always gonna have some. You know I'm, what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't got. I, when you dropped his sound, he sounded like he was from New York. You know what I mean? Yeah, Not yeah. many That's, people coming New out of New York sound like New York right got now. Got the London grime vibe to it. What yeah. you mean by that? Like. From the beat and this is voice. Like, he kind of reminds me of gigs a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> Like, I think he dope. I, I like his stuff. Like. Right, right. Now, right. he definitely got some sauce. So, but I'm saying, like, do you think New York still has that same sound oh, that it nah. once had, like, that authentic, like, you knew this was, like, a New York person? Some some artists are still true to that, I think. But, I mean, you know, the sound, sound and times change, so people's sound going to change with the time. So, so and, and, and that's what I wanted to ask, too, because you said the same thing about, you know, Crip. You was, like, he coming out of the South, so that's the yeah. first thing that you going here but nowadays it's like you can't really tell where a person is coming from well crit i watched his interview he said he ain't from the south he's from country the okay. south is yeah. atlanta country is mississippi and all yeah that. and that's, alabama that's, that's, that's right. he said he, he is country. from the he ain't from the south <laughs> right 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 so that's the difference from that's music difference. i know it's yeah, a you difference. can hear it his slang you can hear you know? it. yeah and just how he talk in general how he rap on the track you could definitely hear it you could definitely decipher he ain't Ooh. from the east side, up north, or none of that. What would be an artist that you would not compare to, you know, him as an artist, but compared to him as a, as uh, uh, coming out of that area, that environment, so I can get an understanding? Um, well, I get, like I a get, Mike I Jones. Get, nah, hell no. Nah, yeah. that's disrespect to him. I, I know. <laughs> I wasn't saying as an artist though. I'm saying just coming out the area. Nah, you know I, mean, I mean, I would compare him to. I mean, it may be like I would compare. I, I would say he has elements of like uh, Andre 3000 yeah, okay, yeah. or. Um, he, like, oh, yeah, you, you, you see, you talking about as an artist. I'm talking about coming out of like Andre came from Atlanta. Yeah, but I'm just talking about as far as they Shut got up. similar elements, and they almost got not the same type of voice. But he has he 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 was sound more like an Andre than if I'm comparing to voice wise than anybody than anybody I can think off the top of my head right now. Or like a or like a uh, like a Pimp C Bum B. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like UGK or something. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Um, and he's worked with UGK and them, so you know like. I definitely compare him to somebody like that, but he's, he's dope. You definitely got to get up on his catalog. He definitely you, been making some quality music for years. And do you guys know we spoke this up, right? Guess who's in the city of Philadelphia and has been for like the past week and a half? Crit. Andre 3000. Oh, Andre yeah, 3000, seen him, like, yeah. The you seen him? Uh, yeah. How you well, gonna I see, see him? I ain't seen him. I see the pictures. Like, yeah, how you big. gonna see him? I ain't tell nobody. <laughs> yo, you should be texting the whole fam. Like, yo, Andre is here right now. But yes, yo, he's walking around Philadelphia with his flute. Like, everybody is catching him walking around with flute. He's here to make new music. Mm -hmm. And he's just out and about walking around the yeah. city like he not three That's stock. Yeah. I like... Oh my God! You know what yeah, I'm saying? And 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 you guys are certified and approved. Three stacks is a thing. 
Oh yeah, three for stacks sure. is the thing. I was like, all right, I got some ride away. Three stacks, three yeah, he stacks. Called, he called himself. I, I had to go. I had to get into it because <laughs> at first I thought that was disrespectful. I felt like we supposed nah, to put some respect right on the on track my when you said name. that. That time you said that, That's, right on the track. Right on the track, he said it, and then. Hey. A month, two months later, he walking around Philly chilling. That's what it is. I hope one of us bump into him. Like, I, y'all gotta, y'all gotta definitely hit me up, and I'm gonna hit y'all up if that happens oh, for real, sure. for definitely, real, for definitely. real. Man, but you already know we got a special guest in the building. This is actually one of y'all friends. You know what I'm saying? One of the artists that you guys have sure, worked with sure. in the past. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you guys for bringing him through. You know what Anytime. I'm saying? And once again, you can catch the Assassins live here on Revive Man each and every Tuesday, each and every Thursday. But right now we got a special guest in the building. He goes by the name of MTA. MTA, what it do? How you feeling? What's good? What's good? Feeling good, man. We got hear you. Got speaking the mic for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, speaking yeah. hear you. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell the people who you are and everything you got going on. Good morning. Good morning. My name is MTA. Eight, and I'm a singer songwriter from Philadelphia and I love life you feel me man you got this soft voice too <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like ladies Rico love yeah. MTA you yeah. know what I mean <laughs> it's the glasses it's the glasses, it's the glasses. <laughs> what's that all about that's the part of the image How, how's that going yeah it's a part of the image I feel like when I have my glasses on like I, I can be me and I mean like I'm like I'm, I don't know it's like that you look at me in a different light and I can just be who I am Okay. So I've always I love glasses. So is that like you going into you know what I'm saying your your um what's it called your your, your persona ca- MP, MTA yeah. persona not your persona but your your character your yeah, yeah. getting in, getting in stage mode on the mic. On the, yes. in the what is that called though? Uh, well, you know that, like uh, Beyonce has Sasha Fierce. Yeah. Uh, alter ego. Uh, alter ego. Alter ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So was, is that what you would say? Yeah, that's like my alter ego. The glasses, real chill. You know what I mean? So what does MTA actually stand for? See, that's what I like. That's what I like, cause like, if I would have told you, so like, it came off. Uh, my first name was uh, Melody Artist, but I'm already telling you who I am. So marketing wise, I'm like, you know what? Let me shorten it up. Let me make it MTA, and it poses the question like, what does that mean? Mm-hmm. So, so it, it really stands for Melody Artist. Yeah, Melody Artist. Yeah. And, okay, so Mel was your first name, mm-hmm. so then MTA is Melody Artist. I actually, that's yeah. clever. Yeah. Uh, and you you did that yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did it come from like you actually sitting down and making, creating music, or it was just something you was like, oh, this is just what I'm gonna make it? Um, I didn't really like the the name Mel the Artist. It was too long. It was just kind of boring. So I was like, you know, <laughs> let me let me let me spice it up and try to like shorten it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just use the the first letters of every word. So. And how long have you been doing music? When did you first pop off? Hmm, I've been doing music. I guess I can say since I left college, so it'll be 2016. 2016? Like three, four years, yeah. And what was the sound like at, when you first started, like in 2016, like how we were just talking about <laughs> music and the evolution of music? And you can't really tell where artists is from anymore based on his sound. So like, what was the sound that for you to be like, you know what, I want to jump into this industry. I feel like I can make an impact. Oh man, I, I noticed like, I guess like since, uh, cause I, I come from the church. So I've been singing in the church. Um, all my life and everybody's been telling me like you know what like you can sing you can do this i'm like all right cool so I, i've been going to music school all my life awesome um, so then i i was in the music school and then i left and i was like you know what? i want to try this really to like push this on my own so um when i first came out my sound was horrible i, was, I thought i had the the sauce <laughs> you know what i mean i was like i thought i could do everything but i was like you know what like so but that's when i put my ten thousand hours in you know what I mean? And, uh, ten thousand hours or ten thousand dollars? Hours. Hours. Okay, yeah, I had so. to ask you, you know, gotta clarify that because I, I <laughs> like. Throw me you know a dollar, bro. Throw yeah, me right? a couple of dollars. I'm about to yeah, start I telling wish. them what I like. Right, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, like ten thousand hours, you know, to master your craft. And for the last three, four years, I've just been working, 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 working to push every inch and in, like everything in my body to like be better every day. You know, at vocals, at mixing, at producing, at everything. So that's what I've pretty much been doing, and now I feel like I have that uh, industry sound. So let me ask you guys, DJ D Ready, DJ Alex Lane, have you guys been working with him from the start? Was he really Uh, ass? Was he really trash? (laughs) (laughs) I ain't gonna say from the start. We met him; he was pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? We got we got into MCA. He been he been killing it since we since we known him. Um, and we DJ some of his live sets. You know what I'm saying? He a real great performer. Awesome. Always kills the stage. Um, and it's a show for real. You know what I'm saying? It's not just uh, just standing there. Yeah, it's not just singing song. Oh, next track, next track. It's a whole it's a whole show to his performance. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you're being entertained. You don't feel like you're just watching somebody get up and do like some uh, open mic live. 
whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's a great compliment. You know what I mean? Speaking of open mic next Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? Mark your calendar. Word. I figured I was going to say Your girl, you know what I'm saying? Your girl POC and the Assassins will be hosting one here live at the CEC, man, 3500 Lancaster Avenue. That is going down next Wednesday, the 24th. You can definitely hit either one of us up to sign up. More information will be coming out, you know, either Saturday or Sunday of this week. So definitely stay locked. If you're an artist out there who's listening to us, um, definitely, you know, send information our way so you can jump up on the stage and get the mic in your hand. But back to MTA, though, you know, shout out to, you know, DJ D Ready with that plug. Yeah. <laughs> word, word. <laughs> but back to MTA, though. So I actually appreciate the fact that you was transparent and jumped out there and said, you know what I mean? Yeah. When I first started, I didn't really know what I was doing because a lot of artists, that's where they're losing, you know, just credibility in general because they're not being honest with themselves and they think they're bigger than what they are. You know what I mean? There's really going to be one out of 10 little Nas X's that can pop off and really make that hit song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it came down to you putting in that 10 hours, you know, what was the steps? What did you have to do? Like how, how important was it for you to hold yourself accountable and be responsible for something that you wanted to do? Oh man, it was a, it was a lot of trial and error. I mean, being young, 18, 19, I, I first had to find myself. You know, I didn't know myself. Mm -hmm. So how could I know who my artistry was? So I had to, while making music and still learning, I had to find myself. Then I had to find out who am I behind the camera or in front of the camera? And who am I to the world? Am I going to be myself? Am I going to have to make this whole person, uh, personal thing or persona thing? So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be me. And if you love it, you love it. If you love the music, that's what you're going to get, that mm -hmm. authenticity. So, um, yeah, yeah. So how did you go from, you know what I mean, uh, church music to that secular sound, you know what I mean, without being judged or feeling like you were getting away from your whole purpose or, you know, where you started from? Um, Cause you know that secular music up yeah. in that church is now welcome, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, so. that's, that's right. I mean, for real, for real, I'm a, I have to be me, you know what I mean? And if I felt like, I felt like I was just, like I love church music and I never lose my roots. And I mean, I, my, my God is my, my Lord and Savior. I don't care if I'm doing R&B, I don't care if I'm doing hip hop, country, like I'm always gonna have that root. So like shout out to God, first of all, it's for me. Real, you real, know what I mean? So, um, but you know what I mean? I felt R&B, like I've been growing up on jazz, R&B, you know what I mean? So that's why I was like, you know what? Like, I wanna try this out, it's me, it's in me. So, um, Was yeah. it appreciated, you know, coming from a church, you know, singing your whole life, and now you wanna do a different sound, you wanna do a different genre of music, was it appreciated by, you know, your church family? Uh, kinda, but not really. It was like, okay, I walk into church, I, like say if I, I came back from college, like, yeah, so what are you doing now? I'm like, oh, you're in school, okay, cool. Uh, uh, good, you know, good luck, good luck. And then when I left, I was like, yeah, what are you doing now? I'm, I'm pursuing music, oh, okay, well, Cool. Okay. Like, <laughs> All right. Cool. So it wasn't until like I started doing big performances and opening up for people and start writing for people and people were like, "Oh, you really are doing this seriously." Mm -hmm. So I, I guess it's, it wasn't. It's not even not even really thing. I feel like if you're doing anything, if you're starting your business, you know, what I mean, once you get that credibility or somebody like that name behind it, people mm -hmm. are like, "Oh, I should have taken taken you serious." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. It wasn't fully appreciated until I started. People started seeing me doing, like, taking it seriously fully. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I definitely understand what you're saying. So, also, when it comes down to R&B, let me get into R&B a little bit. Because mm -hmm. they say that's like a, a dying genre of music. They say R&B is not you know, the same as what it used to be. And I can wholeheartedly agree, you know what I mean? There would never be another Casey and JoJo, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's hard to even get, you know, boy groups, girl groups back because yeah, at one time R&B oh. was nothing but groups, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, Did he bring him back? Make you make the oh, Make the band, right? Oh my no. God. I, <laughs> I just I cannot even wait to see what kind of artist he brings on. I feel like it's gonna be nothing but a reality TV show. Like Diddy needed something, you know. He's going through a lot of life changes, and he just yeah. needs something to, to to keep relevant and also to stay talking. Like I feel like if he stopped talking, it's gonna be a big problem. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not ready for that. What y'all think about R&B though? As far as like just just the genre of music, do you think R&B is still here because there's no boy groups or no women groups out there? Well, or just the, solo acts, you know. Groups, Bryson Tiller is like giving me not R much, but it's, I feel there's some dope people coming up. Like, yeah. that's said, I love her. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Eric Bellinger, he's been yeah. doing it, but uh, but that's like neo soul. Like, they don't do they categorize categorize them as R and B? 
What her? her? I would, I would, I consider her like a straight up R and B act yeah. all the way. I so mean, she's uh, not comparing. Uh, so I was comparing her. I think Neil Soul was like the we go ahead, a Lauren but, Hill. No, I'm asking Lauren, like a Lauren Hill, right? Nah, uh, I wouldn't compare it to a Lauren Hill. Me and me, me in particular. That sound you wouldn't. I don't know. Maybe like a song or two, maybe, but not yeah. necessarily, not necessarily yeah. her whole her whole sound. Okay. Okay. I mean, um, shout out to the DJs. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, this is I, important to me. No, I, I mean, like I feel as though you know, our uh, music is just evolving. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Agreed. It's always 20, evolving. Yeah. So twenty years ago, the sound's not going to be the same. And if it was, there's a problem. That means we're not evolving as people. No, sounds are the same. That's why we keep sampling. We yeah. want those sounds. We want those doom doom. You know what I'm saying? We want that that back in the day feeling when the music come on because when that music came on, like we felt our soul coming through the the vibrations of the music. Nowadays, I don't feel anything when the beat drop unless it's like some real. You know what I'm saying? Like some 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 mustard or something. Like mustard is probably Timberland is still to this day is the only DJ I'm like. I mean, not DJ producer. I really like. Mm-hmm. Damn, like I'm gonna bop no matter what they're talking about because the beat, the instruments, the per- Cushions and everything is just there. You don't yeah. get that so, now. So you don't. You got like a, you don't got like an R and B playlist that you that should go to like a list you make or whatever. Hell like hell yeah, and it's from, all coming from the nineties. It's all old. All you know, so ain't, ain't no new acts out here impressing you uh, as got, far as the new music. New no new R and B. You, you gotta be joking. I mean yes, <laughs> like, of course you got you got you got your Daniel Caesars. You got you know. Um, Masego, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like you got mm-hmm. those different people, but they're not here. You know, these are people that you have to find on the internet. These are yeah. independent artists. These are not mainstream yeah, artists. Yeah, so you're like, saying it's not as mainstream. It's not mainstream as it once was. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, like her, she just jumped on board, but mm. her came out what four or five years ago, doing exactly what she's doing now. You know, those those things that people are calling albums are technically EPs, and now they're just blowing up because with the numbers that she's creating. So of course mm. I'm gonna call it an album now. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying. But as far as just content. In having that sound, no. The closest thing we're gonna get is a Bryson Tiller. No. Uh, no. Bryson Tiller to what? No. Arm? You going all over to me? I'm saying oh, no. Bryson Tiller. I mean, like, I mean, good, good music. Like, that's trap and soul, whatever you call it. No, I'm, I'm saying that's trap soul. That's what I'm saying. The that close, ain't no close to R and B. That's what I'm saying. The closest thing we're gonna get. Who's singing just pure R and B right now? Um, Daniel, uh, Daniel Caesar. Daniel uh, Caesar. Um, maybe that. R- I didn't check her album out, but maybe like the, the chicken on Dreams with Ari Lennox, probably yeah, Lennox. somebody like her. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's a lot of people. You yeah, they're not gonna be on all of them. Ain't gonna be on the forefront. You gotta go digging the crates to see yeah. who's who and what's what. Um, get on your Apple Music. Get on your Spotify playlist. They they putting the they putting the sauce in them playlists. Who, who yeah. popping the R and B? They literally are replaying the same artist all over right, and over. Right, you ain't like, checking it. You ain't checking it. If it I, I'm really just on my independent tip. Like I, yeah. I want to support independent artists such as uh, MTA. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So check let his me, check his project out. I, I was about to say. So let me. You guys have the music, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna get into yeah. one of these tracks after this question. So when it come down to you know what I mean, R and B. What is your perspective on R and B? You know what I'm saying? Do you see R and B still you know, reviving itself in 2019. Definitely. I, see, I, f- I feel as though, like, I love the where I love where music is because it's so accepting of different things right now. Like, I could put out a song, and mind you, I'm from the East Coast, but I'm doing songs, like, from, like, a tribal aspect or from the West Coast. Like, I'm just, I'm just mixing it up, and I can literally be from all around the world but i still it still call me an r&b artist you know what mm-hmm. i mean i love it it's accepting from a lot of things and that's what i love about music like when i when i when i jumped into doing this music thing like i looked at chris brown i was like how can chris brown be rapping doing a pop track sing about love and an r&b track and then go right back to like doing this whole thing i'm like what like i want to be like that but he's been called an r&b pop artist and that's why i feel like r&b is not <laughs> what it is the fact that you just said rapping pop and r&b all at the same time <laughs> come on like that's not a but i'm wait. talking about some official casey and jojo like they never left the who yeah. yeah they yeah. never went off that <laughs> they never once at any song went off of who yeah they kept now, it going jacques yeah, jacques jacques is trying to get his Bryson Tiller on his little trap soul on too. Like, no, I mean, simply just singing. Like, even Next, you know what I mean, with RL and them, they were kind of like rapping a little bit too. They were trying to change that hip-hop genre to get, you know, back into it. I feel like Genuine, Tyrese, when they first popped up, they were doing nothing but straight 
vocals. It's different. Like Tank was doing nothing but straight vocals. Carl Thomas doing nothing but straight vocals. That is R and B. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, come on. I, I feel you, but it's just that time gone. Yeah. It's, right. it's, Even Avant, it's straight. What, what was that song he was on? Four o'clock. That's sixteen, seven, fifteen. They not trying here. Yeah. That's my point. Yeah. So I can't be mad at them. I'm mad at them. <laughs> but, but then that's again, a whole living, breathing genre of music that you're missing out of. It's it's still oh, yeah. there. It's just I feel like it's, it's just elements though. It's not. It's like I said. It may not be a straight up artist that's like a Carl Thomas or yeah. whatever that's doing straight R and B all the way. Rhythm singing. and blues. So oh, yeah. Here, they like, Where did James Brown? Ain't none of that with. Yeah. With, right. Oh, so you you like yeah right right. It's like being an old. Head from that time, they like, yo, where James Brown at? Big yeah. bop, bit up. all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not getting none of that. You get elements of that in yeah. their music, but you're not gonna get a whole. Nobody really, unless you like, unless you're doing some on some Bruno Mars tip as far oh as my that. Gosh. Comparing like James Brown or something. Yo, but. is that? Is let me ask you. Let me ask you, NTA. Is that? Is that cultural appropriation? Like, is is Bruno Mars not giving credit where credit is supposed to be? You know what? To be honest, I don't know fully about Bruno Mars. He makes good music. It's cool. Um, and I like the fact that he's bringing back aspects. I don't know what he does, if he gives props to anybody. Um, I know it's, it's funky, it's groovy. Um, As an artist, though, should you not? Oh, I mean, you definitely should. You definitely should. I mean, I, I know I pull from everywhere when I create, but that's that's the beauty of it. You know what I mean? It's I'm allowed to pull from everywhere. Because mm -hmm. as an artist, I don't want to be put in a box. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sound like Luther. I don't want to sound like Usher. I don't want to sound like uh, BTK, R&B. I want to sound like me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why I love it, because we can come together as, as like a melting pot and just make beautiful music. And we're all sounding like different in a sense, but we're still being true to like, we're still pulling from different places. Because if you hear like the samples, we're pulling from you. We're, we're, we're pulling from the people that came before us, and then now we're making it our own. It's yeah. beautiful music. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I can agree with that. That's what I love. That's literally what I love. I, I, mean? I love the fact that we can, you know what I'm saying, use the examples that came before us to create beautiful music, no doubt. But at the same time, we got to give credit where credit is due. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sure, definitely. We and have gotta, to give credit. I got a question too. What's like? So what's your definition? <clears throat> excuse me. What's your definition of giving like props or credit today? Like how we? How do we give props or credit? What's, what's the what's the what's your right way to go about one put it in black and white simple so if you know what i mean you upload the song to uh spotify make sure you put them in the credits just that simple yeah. like sampled from da -da -da -da, soundtrack with well that's gear. yeah that's God, clearance that, yeah that's yeah. that's, that's that right. if they actually yeah. sampling yeah then you gonna yeah. get you gotta give clearance yeah. that's no that's no question so doing that and then also just like for example if i you know if you're a photographer you can take a picture of me just tagging you or something simpler yeah. in the post if you're gonna post it on social media if you know what i'm saying if you're doing something marketing tool maybe do a shout out saying like yo let me get your logo i can put your logo on there like this is for independent artists i'm not sure how it goes you know on the on mainstream level but i'm just saying i'm just do something to show that you know i was inspired by you you know and i do understand that your thoughts are not your own everything is made in collective thoughts and but at the same time when you when you take someone's intellectual property, you know what I mean, and you're not gonna pay them for them, pay it for them. You need to pay it forward in general. That's just all I say. You know what I'm saying? Inter intellectual okay. property should not be free. Word. It should not That's be true. free. That's, That's all I'm saying. But let's get into some music. You know what I'm saying? We got your guy MTA in the building. What's the first song we are gonna play? What's the uh, first song? Play that Tay Gusta. Okay, Ooh, Tay Gusta. No, so yeah, tell us a little bit about that. What's that track about? Uh, so like I said, I love being different. So I was like. Um, same difference. Like I, I was growing up listening to Usher, and he made a song that incorporated Hispanic, you know, uh, I guess the Hispanic culture. Mm -hmm. So I was like, Yo, I want to make a Hispanic song. Okay. You know I mean, so um, shout out to Tati. She helped me with the, you know, the translations and everything. And she's on the track. Um, an artist that I work with from Philly. She's dope, dope um, singer songwriter. Um, she helped me out with this track. And yeah. Let's get, let's get into it. Into it. Yeah. What's the name of it one more time? De Gusta. De Gusta. What's that stand for? I like. I like. De gusta. I like. Let's get into it. You already know what time it is. Revive is alive. Turn your radios up. NTA in the building. <laughs> She just wanna drink, smoke me, come over Do the things that she want when she's sober She don't wanna fall in love, she just want me for the night, yeah Fuck feelings, catch flies, yeah Come on, take me to the Take it to the my
Tell me that you like that You gon' stop, mama Oh yeah You don't like to play no games I see it You ain't like one in the same Believe it Quiero ser de mi bebecita, ya yeah. Sé que en la noche te vas a olvidar Lo que viniste a buscar So caught up, atrapada Okay, I like that one. I like that one a lot. I actually like the sound. That sound like something that Alex put me onto last week when he played that beat. I was like, yo, I feel it. Now I see why you bet. You know what I'm saying? I see why you rocking with it. Definitely feel like why you rock with it. Where did that come from? You know what I'm saying? You said you wanted to make a a, a, a more like Hispanic sound, but where did that come from? It was giving me like a little bit of Bad Bunny. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually feeling his wave right now. Too. Okay. So this <laughs> the song really came from um, uh, a woman saying like she didn't want anything from me but sex mm. you know what i mean she she didn't want any attachments she just wanted me as a physical uh persona so i said to her i was like you sure because if, if you get some sex i'm pretty sure you're gonna be coming back for more and you want want more so that's literally it was that tit for tat the whole song like no nah, you're gonna want me for this and it's like no nah, i'm trying to tell you but at the end of the song she's like oh shit, you're right that's good that's what i had so yeah <laughs> so how was that platonic relationship? <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like that's that's something that you hear a lot. Like you know, oh, I don't, I don't want this. But then again, like when you have it, it's like, ooh, like I feel that. I feel like you hear that that story a lot in like the world. You know what it's I mean? Facts. Like I mean, it, that's just how millennial. A lot of millennials are moving. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, you know, let, let me. Especially in your late twenties, early thirties, I feel like a lot of people are moving in that direction. Yeah. So, was, is there anything wrong with platonic relationships in 2019? Um, I feel like a good platonic relationship is good because if you're around, if you can, if you can be in the same room with a woman or a guy, and you know, be able to next listen chill without anything intimate, that means you might have something. That means you might have something deeper than just like sex. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think it's a beautiful thing. I have a lot of platonic relationships and females that are. So, ladies, we know he a pimp already. You know what I'm saying? He just <laughs> snitched on himself. So now we know, you know what I'm saying? When we see NTA, you know what I'm saying? He got chicks in his phone. So as soon as he go to sleep, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, I'm playing, I'm oh, playing, I'm yeah. playing, I'm playing. I'm playing. But let me ask you guys this question. Shout out to the DJs. You know, go ahead and snitch on yourselves. Is a platonic relationship still, you know, okay in 2019? Y'all with the platonic relationship? I'm going to go ahead, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's all right. It's cool. It's all right. Okay. Um, I don't see a lot of millennials doing it. <laughs> um, you, don't, you don't think so? Just being friends with benefits and going about your day for real, for real? I see that a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? You tripping? What kind of millennial friends you got? Well, you tell your age. One of the two. Trying to get married. Like a whole lot. Oh, see you. you see, yeah, you. We not at the same party. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know you're well, a lot of my friends is. I guess I'm getting older. You getting older? Yeah. A lot of my friends are trying to kids and get married. Like I don't know why everybody rush. Yeah. Right, right. Nah, I yeah. Is. I know my parents are rushing me though. Word. No. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's definitely a thing. But yeah, nah, yeah. I guess it's cool. Like it is what it is. If y'all cool, if y'all cool with the situation, ship, then it's all. No, good. We talking about you, D. Ready? Don't try to put this uh, on anybody. I'm, cool. I'm, I'll be, I'll be in the, I'm I'm in love with the music, so I'm working on that. You know what I'm saying? Right, like so that's what I keep. That's what I keep focusing on. He trying to go last you know and saying? give a yeah, political like, answer. Like I yeah, ain't got no I'm gonna let them two. I'm gonna let them two say whatever, right? And I'm gonna get a political answer. But yep. let me let me ask you this question, right? Because this is actually the question of the morning in my group message with my friends. And um, she she asked, do you think it's wrong to hide financials or your financial secrets from your significant other? You know what I'm saying? Not assuming that they are, you know, hiding anything or, you know, not trying to tell you about the money that they're receiving. But do you think it's okay to have, you know, 
pretty much a secret bank account or yeah, until you a married, secret stash of money. Yeah. Even when you married? No, until you married. I think once you married, then everything is out on the table. But before that, it's all you. And so you don't got to tell them everything. As long as you paying whatever you got to pay. Yeah, half as long 50, as we 50. Can, I can handle what's in front of me. Yeah, yeah. you don't need to know what I got exactly. Down yeah. <laughs> to a T, right? When we nah. ain't just boyfriend and girlfriend? For what? Nah, <laughs> not at all. Nope. Definitely not just no? boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, I don't know, man. Things don't last nowadays, and I can't tell you everything. I don't know. I've I've been I've been through some stuff with these ladies out here. Love y'all, but you can't know everything. You can't know like, everything. I, I probably I give you like two years into the marriage for for like two years into the marriage. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Jeez, he done Yo, already I'm signed like, the paperwork. Said I do it everything. Like you, like because I know I'm gonna hold it down. You know what I mean? But like I don't want you to know everything. Like say if it don't work out, I need I need a safety blanket. You know okay. what I mean? I always got to look out for me sometimes, you know what I mean? And a lot of people going to be looking out for them. So I'm like, all right. But yeah. why you married a girl if she feel like she's still looking out for herself? I'm, listen, I'm always, listen, in the back of my head. Oh, you know, my things gosh. Happen, you know what I mean? I got to be real with the situation. And then y'all you two over mean? here hollering black men don't cheat. But then he got no. this guy right here in the back of my head. <laughs> I got to no. be ready. I got to be yeah, ready. You never know. <laughs> y'all full of it, man. No, that is, no, no, no. I do agree with um what you said, like, I'm not telling you everything up front. Like, it is no, what it is. I'm definitely right. going to have my own. I feel like even once we get married, I feel like that becomes a business ordeal. You know what yeah. I mean? It's not. It's, it's legal. You know what I'm saying? So, I still would have my own separate. You may know about it, but I would just won't tell you what's in it. Like, yeah, I got a separate account in this X, Y, and Z bank. Mm -hmm. That's me. But you ain't going to know what's in there when the deposits hit, when the withdrawals come out, none of those things. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that that should be a problem. I feel like as long as that's a conversation. Because if as you As long need, as y'all both taking care of home. Exactly. If one not taking care, then you find out she yeah. got a bank account. Yeah. It's a problem. It's a pro yeah, Man, what you going to do, problem. Alex? What you gonna, it's a problem. What kind of problem is that, Alex? Nah, like, we're going to go get that money. Because, <laughs> like, I'm not going to be the only one pulling the weight and mm. thinking you ain't got it, but then you got it. Nah, we got so it. So what if, what if she does have it? You know what I'm saying? What if she what if she does have a hundred percent to bring to the table and you have a hundred percent to bring to the table, but because you know you on your masculinity type vibe, you like, you know what, I'ma let my hundred do the walking, you can do the talking. Would you be okay with that? You gotta bring something to the table. But you gotta bring something. There's some men out there who wanna physically take care of the house, the kids, the wife, and even though the wife has it, they do like keep it for yourself. You know, spend it on you and the kids kind if, of vibe. If that's the case, then you just taking care of everything else outside of that, then you better be on your A one job taking care of everything else. You better have the food. Oh you know, my you know god. See, I don't even want to sound like a sexist person. <laughs> saying that. But if that's what we doing, then we then you might as well everything else you take care of. You got it? But that is going, real. Going. Like we all like I feel like when you come into a relationship or a marriage even, we all have our jobs, you know what I mean, 50-50. Mm -hmm. So if I'm bringing in all the income and I'm doing everything holding us down, working seven days a week, then you gotta do something. Well, yeah, I will be you know cooking, I mean? cleaning, taking care of the kids. That's I will cool. be, yeah, you yeah. know, doing yeah. the extracurricular activities. I will be, you know, making sure that whatever, you know, we talk about, you know, needs to be done for the kids gets done. If they want to go to basketball practice, drum lessons, whatever. But at the same time, I still got 100% in my pocket. You know, so when it's time for me to step out, I'm stepping out with my 100%. I'm not like, yo, babe, let me get 100% of yours. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm doing what I got to do. Well, but I'm not paying no bills. So the last time I came home with a Birkin bag, he was looking at me like, where you get the bag from? I'm yeah. like, came out of the money that I was not spending right. all of this time. <laughs> I, I, had, I had a, uh, well, I ain't going to say their names, but I had some family members <laughs> that was going through it. He about to put people no, all out there. The same situation you're saying. But, um... So she got whatever her worry she wanted, but once he went and tried to do a little man shopping, it was a problem. Mm. It can't it gotta go both ways. Okay. Just because I'm, I, I'm doing all the bills, I'm doing all the bills and stuff like that. But when I want to spend my little thing, you're like, nah, we gotta do this, we gotta yeah, do that. Yeah, that vacation coming, you gotta hold that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hold that. But yes, man, thank you guys for for that. That I wanted to know because I feel like. You know, when it comes down to, especially what you was talking about, your platonic relationship, <laughs> I feel like that's a thing, you know what I mean, especially yeah. in 2019. And for you to put that in your music, I appreciate that because you're telling people, you know what I'm saying, the things that you're going through. Yeah. So let me ask you this, when it comes down to actually putting your life stories and, you know, the different things that you're dealing with in your music, does that make you feel vulnerable? Being in music is just vulnerable and period. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, I go broke for this. You know what Fact. I mean? Um, but I, that's what I love. So I can't write for me and write about 
you know, having the biggest cars and the biggest houses and the biggest chains, because that's not where I come from. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I come from, I'm, I'm a lover boy, you know what I mean? Middle, middle class, struggling still, you know what I mean? And that's what I write about in my music, you know what I mean? I write about me, you know what I mean? I can't put something like a, 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 a facade, and then when I go out to the world, I'm like, well, you talked about this, and now you're this, and I'm just like, ah, uh, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I gotta be true to the music and true to myself at the same time, so. Uh, that's that's where all my all my life stories come from. Literally, my life. You know I feel you. So, who are you listening to right now? Like, who who is mm. keeping you inspired to to continuously do music? Ooh. Uh, it, it's rough because I do like I do write, I do produce, and I do a lot of things. Um, I would have to say that right now, I am listening to. Dang. Oh man, this is rough. Who am I listening to? I I listen to so many. Um. Hmm. I can't even tell you off the top of my head. There's so many. You don't know who you listen to? Well, listening nobody. To. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, shout out to MDDY, man. Nobody. Um, Eric Bellinger, definitely listen to him. Um, uh, yeah, Eric Bellinger. Shout out to Eric Bellinger. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. it right there. Yeah, yeah. Eric Bellinger. He, he's one of my inspirations. Uh, like just that what he does. Like he's such a vibe. So, I, I shout out to Eric Bellinger. So, are you in? Are you in Philly right now? Yes, I am definitely in Philly right so now. So, are you working with any Philly artists, any Philly producers? Are you mm. writing for anybody who's in Philly right now? How's Philly showing you love? Uh, so, Philly wasn't showing me love until it did. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It uh, take a little while. Yeah, it, it really does. Like Philly has to like really love you to be working with you. But now mm-hmm. I, I feel like I'm writing for a lot of people. Um, shout out to uh, Noel Scales, um, Joel, Joe Rivers, uh, shoot, uh, Key. Uh, Dia, uh, Lee Harris, awesome. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people. Oh my gosh, uh, 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 Richard, you know, Rich, Ice Cold. Uh, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, man. A so, lot so talk, t- talk to me about Philly, the culture, like how is it, especially as being an artist, mm-hmm. not necessarily where are you from, actually? I know you're not from Philly, but where are you from? No, no, I'm from Philly. You're from Philly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Philly. I'm from Philly. Yeah, yo, Philly. I did yeah. not know you were from Philadelphia. So, though, <laughs> what part of Philadelphia are you from? Now, see, that's the hard part because I feel like I've moved around all my life mm-hmm. and I, I, I've gotten this, different aspects from each end of Philadelphia. Okay. So I guess I can say Germantown area. Okay. Uptown. Shout out. So, so how would you say that your city has showed you love? Um, it, 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 it taught me to be like have tough skin. Okay. Because if Philly don't like you, they're not, they don't like you. That's a <laughs> big fact. If, if you're not a good act, they will boo you off the stage. They will, uh, they will keep talking while in front of your face while you're while you're singing. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm blessed to say that I've learned how to captivate audiences now. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a lot of trial and error. I mean, era. But I can say like now, like when people listen to my music and when I perform now, I demand that stage and I demand your respect. I demand, you know what I mean? Without even saying, yo, listen to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. That's what I say. I, I love it now. I love the I love the culture. Um, I definitely want to leave. I, I want to go to L. A. So that's that's in the move. They're yeah, like uh, the, the third works. artist I heard within like the past two weeks that yeah. said they want to go to L. A. Yeah, I mean like Philly's it's not cool. going to be no easier. You know that, right? That is true, but I, I, it's actually going to be a little bit harder. Yeah, that is you gotta true. You got to get respect, and then you have to actually like be able to be on their type time. Like yeah. L. A. Is not as fast as philadelphia you know yeah. i feel like LA, as much as people feel like you know cali 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 but cali is super slow like they they're creating out there don't get me wrong but it's mm. just like they move on their own time is that not only am i the only person i feel like that i love it it's the weed yeah, it's the weed, <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's weed. weed. You smell it as soon as you get off the plane yeah, right? they, they just that, that, they just behind not behind but it's just like if y'all don't come the hell on, come on, we supposed to be done this like two hours ago. Like, yeah, so that's, that's how I feel about yeah. it. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's all about, see, a lot of people go out to New York and L.A. and Atlanta with no connections. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? With nothing. They're just like, oh, I'm going to move. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going out there. I know a lot of people out there, a lot of producers, a lot of awesome. writers. I'm kind of just going to jump in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I got people that work with like Eric Bellinger and Chris Brown, and like they get placements everywhere. Okay. You know what I mean? So... They're gonna help me out when I get out there. Like, yo, you need to hurry up and get out of here. Okay. You know what I mean, so like, when we got, we got you. Like, living situations. I mean, like, I don't have to really worry. So it's like, yeah. That's a blessing. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, I need to hurry up. So I gotta make sure mom's is good. You know what I mean? So when I leave, she's good. She just uh, graduated and everything. So 
now I'm just like preparing. So what's your plan for leaving? Like when do you plan on leaving? I plan on leaving uh, January of next year. January 2020. Yeah. That's yeah. a big date right there. Yeah, man, I'm scared. Oh, That's my God. Don't so be scared. scared. Run towards your fears, man, each yeah, and every day. True. I promise you, you will, you will never see what you're capable of doing until you do that. That is true. Um, but we have another track today. Yes. Yes, what, yes. What's the track that we about to play right now? I don't know. What you want to play, man? Matter of fact, make you mine. All right. Make All you right. mine. Tell us a little bit about that. Make you mine. So I actually You really are a ladies man. So every oh, every song had to be about the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's we the, get it, MTA. It, 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 it's the summer vibe thing, you know? Um uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh actually uh co produced this with uh, Alex. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, That's big. Yeah, man. I love original music. Shout yeah, out to man. my guy DJ Alex Blaine. Let's go, man. DJ Alex Blaine. Talk to me a little bit about it. You co produced this one. Talk to oh, me about yeah, it for man. real. How, how this doing? I think this jump started. We had like a big camp. It was like yeah. three riders in there. Yeah. And me and uh MTA and we just he started with that 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 lead mm -hmm. and, that, and it just started rocking. I'm like, oh man, this gonna be it. So yeah. then y'all found that sound. Found yeah. that sound. Right? All right. And shout out to uh shoot Dia. Shout out to Revan. Shout out to Chris for co writing with co writing this with with me. And that's what that's another thing. I always incorporate other people awesome. into my music. Like so I'm, I look at my, I look at myself as the executive producer. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, all right, this is what I have. Y'all make it great, and then come back to me and let's really tie this, you know, make it tight. So. But you know, when you do that, you know, what I'm saying, I, I appreciate collaborative efforts. But mm -hmm. when you know you do that, you gotta split that. You oh, know, yeah. oh yeah, oh have yeah. Have many people was on that song. Oh yeah, definitely. Because right. I mean, I feel like when when you have like, a, say, if it blows up tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, that that track or that is gonna. The more creative, the more better it is, the better it has to reach out to different people. Mm -hmm. And more people that they're going to talk about it to their friends mm -hmm. and push it. So, I mean, it's just, a, it's just a marketing thing, you know what I mean? Like, what's your song? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Even though you're not on it, it's your song. You Distribute. know what I mean? So, yeah. Gotta so. be the distribution team. Definitely. Yeah, Let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah. Once again, what's it called? Make You Mine. Make You Mine. You got MTA. Let's go.
Yes, yes. I'm going to make you mine. Who are you talking to? Who's that special girl? Who's that special <laughs> lovely lady that you talking to? I'm not going to name I'm not going to name no names, but there is a special lady, you know what I mean? That's in my So why you can't life. name no names if she's so special, <laughs> right? I'm not I'm not Come on, ladies, if we her. so special, why we can't get our name called out? I'm not, not going to put her. I know she wouldn't want We know that. this your 10 minutes of fame, but we want to be part of it. Let us get 30 seconds. Shit. Hey, no. No. See, that's what I'm talking about. And that's why the relationship stays platonic because of those kind of comments right there. No. Like, because of those kind of comments right there. I'm just a, you know, I'm a private person. You know what I mean? Not everybody needs to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Shout out to you, Jay-Z, for being so private. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get your Beyonce on. I feel you, though. Yeah. But talk, talk to me about that. So right now, you know what I'm saying? You have music out right now on Spotify. When is when are we going to get new music? When are we going to get another project? What do you have coming up in 2019? Summer, how are you finishing the year off? So these are all exclusives. These aren't even out. Really? Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. you. Thank you. Revive yeah. is alive, man. We appreciate yeah. you, DJ Alex Play, for dropping yeah. the exclusive yeah. new yeah. music, man, each and every morning, every Tuesday and Thursday. Catch the assassins, man. Yeah, yeah. man. So, um, yeah, yeah. So this is all exclusive. Um, I'm actually going to put out that song. Um, I wanted to do it by my birthday, but some business stuff happened. When is so that? I had to wait. Uh, July 23rd. Okay. So that's uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah. So, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank what you. does that make you? A cancer? I am a, a, a Leo. A Leo. Like, like one day. Okay. I think it's like the, the first day of. You know, you know a little bit about Leo? Yeah. Tell, I'm, tell I'm me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, selfish um, as we can see. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't want to shout nobody, get nobody no credit. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Um, we're, we're, we, we'll love you to like the end of the day. Like, okay. We'll always love you. Even if you're hurting us, we'll love you. Okay. Um, I've recognized that in myself. Um, that's why I'm like, no, nah, like I need to, I need to make sure I'm protected in mind. Okay. So, um, but, um, Leo's like, they, they love the attention. I do like attention sometimes. Okay. Like I wear different hats with a Leo. So, um, like I like attention, but like when I'm in the background, I want to stay in the background. Okay. Uh, if that makes sense. So, um, a lot of things I don't even know. So you want to be seen or you want to be heard? Yeah. Which one? Seen or heard? Um, mm, I think it's a split of both. Like if I'm if I'm performing, I want to be heard. Okay. Like it's weird. Like if I'm if I'm if I want to be seen, I, it ends up like say if I'm at a performance, mm -hmm. I want to be on stage. Okay. Like it's weird. But okay. if I'm like if I'm like vice versa, like I was just hosting not too long ago, but I wasn't singing, and I was like oh, I kind of want to be heard right now. Like mm -hmm. I want people to hear my, you know what I mean? But it was weird. So, um, and I, it was weird. Like I literally was like fighting against myself. Like oh my god, like what? So. It's weird. Being in Leo is very weird. Um, so I, I will say, like, it's like, wow. Okay. I'm starting to learn. So, some, so summer 2019. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Ending the year off strong with some new music. You know what I'm saying? The exclusives you just dropped here today, live on Revive. Mm -hmm. Talk to us. Like, how can we find it? What's up? What's up? So you can follow me on all social media. First of all, at, um, MTA did it. MTA did it on all social media. Or you can just look up my website at immta.com. Again, that is immta.com. And all the exclusive of everything, you can literally just go to my website and you'll be linked up to all my music. Okay. And what's up with the rest of the summer? You got any performances lined up? You got any gigs? Where can we catch you on the stage? So I just had about two two performances in New York not too long ago. Okay. Like I had one like last weekend. That was really dope. Um, performances, I'm supposed to be doing some live performances at like Green Soul coming up. I'm trying to put some stuff together for like a EP release party, but shh, we'll keep that on the hush. Um, you already said it live know, now, know, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Ain't no more hush hush. But I know, but we, we'll- Now we all talking yeah. about it. Talk about it. I want you to, <laughs> so, but you'll, you'll definitely, everything will literally be on the website um, when it goes up. So that's like, you know, stay tuned, stay tuned. Sign up on the, uh, the subscriber list. You know, I got a little subscriber list, mail list and everything, so. Yeah, it's going to be cool. It's Definitely cool. support who supports you, man. Subscribe to his uh, newsletter, yes, you know what I mean? Yes. So you can stay locked with everything he got going on. So you can check out his, you know, performances and gigs that he will be having for the rest of the year before he leaves us in 2020 yeah. to go all the way across the world. You know what I'm saying? So we appreciate you coming through and supporting us here at Revive Radio. You got any last things that you want to say to the listening audience while they got your attention? Uh, I mean, why you got their attention, I'm sorry? Yeah. Uh, thank you for having me. No doubt. You know what I mean? Thank you, Philly, for for supporting me finally you know what i mean uh i love y'all thank y'all for su supporting my music and future supporters so thank y'all for having me man no Lessons, doubt man. i appreciate it and i actually enjoyed your music you know thank what i'm you. saying <laughs> and you actually have a great sound especially that first one i appreciate you going in that direction i actually feel like you know um 
soca music caribbean vibes you know that real hispanic you know tone that what's it called not reggaeton uh, um Something with a tone at the end. What is it called? Come on, it's DJ, tell me out. The uh, span has like uh, not <laughs> reggae tone, like uh, trap Spanish. It's not called trap, trap Spanish, uh, but I don't know. like that Bad Bunny sound. Yeah, yeah. What is that called though? That is reggae tone. Is it it's like it's a, it's a. I think it's a. It's a. A side of reggae tone. But like, it has like some it's like a sub-genre. trap genre. I don't yeah. know. Man. We don't know. It's probably a uh, name. I just can't. It yeah. definitely got a sound to it, man. Because yeah. he he is creating a whole different wave. Because I was out. Um, Belize and when I was in Belize like mm. yo they was yeah, going crazy yo oh my mm. god going yeah. crazy so many brown people just I mean <laughs> bouncing off the walls yeah. to this sound I'm like yo this is about to be the next wave and then yep. I was it's blessed awesome. to go to Africa and soca music was doing the exact same thing mm-hmm. I'm like what is this you know what I mean I yeah. didn't even know how how just transforming it can take a room like it was just ridiculous so yes mm-hmm. I definitely feel like that sound is coming so I appreciate your new sound you, and and definitely your music you know what I'm saying we got the assassins in the building man these yeah, are my yeah. guys right yes, here yes. tell the people I can find you I can stay locked <coughs> if you guys got something going on this weekend also tell them too yeah you can find us on the Instagram the assassins underscore uh, you can also follow me DJ I'll explain and you can find me D ready that's D underscore R three D D Y Yes, yes. And DJ D Ready, I got some stuff on SoundCloud. I need y'all oh, to check yeah. out. You know what I'm saying? Tell them how I can find your information on SoundCloud. Um, so that's with the homies, uh, Fred Genius and Oct the Wizard. Um, we're a collective. Uh, Draco Thunder, that's the instrumentals. We're dropping those on SoundCloud. Y'all can check yeah. those out right now. Mm. Draco Thunder, just search that on SoundCloud. That's uh, D R A C O and Thunder soundcloud we um we drop instrumentals like on a weekly basis so um just stay in the loop man it's definitely some fire hopefully some of y'all can get on it in the future possibly you know what i'm saying but no we, doubt. We, we got some heat so definitely check it out let me know what you think no doubt you man know. if you're an artist you're looking for some instrumentals you're looking for some djs looking for some producers man hit my guys up the assassins yes, you know yes, what i'm yes, saying they up. make good music man yes. they make good music they don't just play good music they make good music man you already know Amen. what time it is <laughs> turn your radios up spread the word spread the message man we'll be back tomorrow it is free balls friday man we got a special guest in the building for you guys tomorrow man don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to spread the word spread the message subscribe to that youtube channel as well as the newsletter so you can stay locked you already know turn your radios up we'll be right back yo the assassins let's go get them that one yes, yes. yes. yeah, yeah. and i just come from the yeah, big rich town oh, you version right, like city life i gotta make it this is where it goes down yeah yeah, yeah. i just have been i just got this exclusive exclusive Hawaii Radio. Tune in now. Hawaii Radio. 50 Trey songs, they boogie. Tune in now. Hawaii Radio. Tune in now. Hawaii Radio.